Hello New Zealand, thanks for joining us. I'm Philip Duncan. This huge area of high pressure is still moving in and we've got some big weekend frosts on the way around the inland parts of the South Island, down to minus five and below potentially this weekend. So that's pretty cold stuff, but it's not really gonna to spread to the coastal areas or into the North Island quite so much. So we'll break that down for you in a moment, but let's kick off with the Wednesday animated wind map and look at this huge feature, this big high, which is controlling the Tasman Sea. It affects much of Australia and it's also affecting New Zealand. We're in the southerly flow of it. That's why we're still getting some cool nights, but you probably noticed the afternoons, they're warming up quite nicely and they're going to for the next few days, we're going to be warmer than average as these Australian westerlies start to move in across the country. So this is how we look for Thursday, 1030 hectopascals, that's the big high, moving into northern New Zealand, subtropical northwest winds are coming down, that's why Thursday will be warmer than average uh, into the afternoon, and those winds will be picking up a little bit, a little bit of wet weather on the west coast, otherwise it is dry across New Zealand, but you can see there is a cold front coming through. So by Thursday evening, that'll be pushing into the lower portion of the South Island. And by Friday, it gets up to Cook Strait and into the lower part of the North Island, We've got two highs, so that's splitting the weather. High number one to the north, bringing subtropical winds across much of the North Island, while high number two is encouraging a southerly with temperatures dropping behind it. So overnight on Friday, and as we go into Saturday, these two highs merge, they then lock in the cold air. So as we head in towards Saturday, high pressure is smack bang over the South Island, and it's gone up in air pressure to 1036, maybe 1037. That's going to lock in some of the biggest frosts we've seen this year. There'll be um, places like Tekapo towards Queenstown, those inland areas, minus four, minus five is possible, maybe even lower than that in some more remote areas. But the coastal fringes, as you'll see in a moment, they're not quite affected. So this is the uh, to areas below zero on Saturday night. Notice how the coastal areas are just outside that, that pink zone. So that's widespread frosty weather this weekend around the South Island. Um, Southland's really the only area where it probably gets right through, down to um, the actual coastlines, further inland for Canterbury, but it gets pretty close. So it's a borderline event. And like I say, through the mountains, minus fours and fives through those areas. Into Sunday, we've got that big high moving out to the east. So a cold start, but by the afternoon, subtropical northerlies will start to build over the South Island. The same places that were minus four and minus five have got a subtropical northerly from, you know, up in the north of New Zealand coming down for you by the afternoon. So by the time we get to Monday, not frosty, now you've got subtropical winds coming through. And once that passes by, there might be some frost in the North Island as well as that high tracks further into the north. Behind it all, next week, high pressure and westerlies. So it's an interesting weekend where it gets colder. The North Island's not quite as exposed and before you know it, we're back to subtropical weather. That's all from me. We'll see you again on Thursday with the latest.